yeah. are with him today. Absolutely. <laughs> it is going to be a scorcher. We continue our first alert weather day because it's going to be hot. It's going yes. to be humid outside. And you really have to keep it in mind, right? Yeah. Not everybody wants to sit outside and totally no. sweat after five minutes. Oh my at goodness. brunch or lunch. Listen, I, I said it earlier. I thought about everyone going to that Braves game yesterday because it was a 410 first pitch and that's the heat of the day. And our heat index at that point I checked was 100 degrees. So it was a really hot day. 97 was the high that we topped out at. So that was the hottest day of the year. Today's high will be just short of that at 95, which will tie the second hottest day of the year. We had a 95 degree day on Friday as well. Already very warm and muggy out there to start your Sunday. 78 in Atlanta. 79 in Marietta, 75 in Lawrenceville, and 76 in Athens. If you're going to grab dad some coffee this morning, make sure it's an iced coffee because that'll help cool you off a little bit. Here's a look at that forecast. If you are headed to Truist today, it'll still be hot and humid, but at least a little cooler by noon. If you're headed to Truist Park or the battery before the game kicks off at 135, 89 degrees by three o'clock, low 90s, and we will have a slightly higher coverage of showers and storms today. Can't completely rule out maybe a brief rain delay. Any of the storms that fire up today, we call them pulse thunderstorms, so they form and they fire up and then they kind of rain themselves out over a half hour or so. Here's a look at those temperatures area wide high temperatures today, low to mid 90s, 92 for a high in Canton, 95 in Atlanta, 93 in Carrollton, 96 in Thomaston, 90 in Gainesville. So if you're headed maybe up to Lake Lanier today, it'd be a great day out on the water. Very hot. Make sure you're wearing plenty of sunscreen if you do anything outdoors today. And of course, you're drinking plenty of water. Let's talk about the storm chance today. As I mentioned, very summer like setup where storms will start to bubble up during the heat of the day. So after two o'clock, we're fair game for a few showers and storms to start to fire up and again that could cause a brief rain delay for the second half of that Braves game over at Truist this afternoon. We'll keep the chance for a few scattered storms even around six. So if you have any dinner plans tonight with dad, just keep in mind a few storms will be out there and any storms that develop today could carry some heavy rain, gusty wind and frequent lightning out the door tomorrow. Still very warm and muggy temperatures in the mid 70s, closer to 80 by nine tomorrow. A touch cooler, partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the low 90s, maybe a stray thunderstorm, but for the most part will be dry for Monday. Temperatures will drop into the low 90s tomorrow and stay there for the rest of the week. So after our extremely high heat over the weekend, we will start to cool down. And not only that, but our dew point temperatures will start to cool, which ultimately means by Tuesday, some slightly lower humidity in the forecast, which will be wonderful. Taking a look at the tropics, we do have a couple of areas of interest, one in the Southwest Gulf that could impact the Gulf Coast, not us a little later this week, but we will watch a low that could develop off the southeast coast of Florida that might bring us a rain chance at the end of the week and will ultimately bring that humidity back by Thursday. Mid 90s, the chance for a few storms today, our first alert weather day, because it will feel more like the triple digits this afternoon. Low 90s for the upcoming work week and mostly dry with more comfortable weather. To Tuesday and Wednesday, lower humidity and a breeze both afternoons. And then another rain chance returns Friday and into the start of next weekend.